What's going on, Clash Brashers? Rocky here today, and today we are back with sneak peek number three, guys. That's right, we got something brand new in the game, as you guys can already see right over there and there and all over the place. We are getting a brand new siege machine called the Stone Slammer. Now, just to be clear, before we get too much further into the video, those numbers are not official. Those are kind of like the test numbers and are always subject to change, but they'll kind of give you an idea of what we're looking at with the Stone Slammer. So this siege machine is a little bit unique as where the wrecker and the blimp go straight for a beeline towards that town hall no matter what they're gonna go right for the town hall the stone slammer is gonna target defenses guys it is not gonna go for the town hall it is gonna target the closest defense which is gonna be really awesome and we're gonna check that on action but we actually have some other cool features as well that I want to show off before we get into showing off that Stone Slammer. So if you guys are pumped up about the sneak peeks and want to stay informed for all the brand new content coming up, make sure you guys subscribe, turn off those notifications, and leave a like on this video. So let's go ahead and talk about these other new features real quick. So the first feature I want you guys to notice, and this is something you can turn on in your settings and then more options once the update does come out. Again, we're on the developer build, so kind of a little bit of early access, is you can make it so you have two bars of troops. That way you don't have to scroll back and forth now i will say it is kind of weird and kind of uh, different to get used to this taking up so much space but there are two bars you won't have to scroll back you can see everything i think this one's pretty pretty awesome and you can also see if you see by that grand warden look guys he's got little arrows you can change the warden to be ground or air at any time before deploying him in the raid same thing with siege machines you can change those out anytime before deploying them even if the raid has started so check this out we can even go in you know, we could throw in a couple Pekos, we could throw in a couple e drags and look, maybe I want, maybe my Queen Walk didn't go right, or maybe my Air Phase didn't go right, and I want to switch that Warden, look, I can switch him to Air, and then put him in there. Oh, and maybe, maybe uh, I don't need that Slammer, because we got whatever value out, maybe I need to go to this Wrecker, and we could throw the Wrecker right in there, and you could change that out. This is some pretty cool stuff, guys, I mean, I've been asking to change the Warden forever now. The only thing about, like, the double line deployment is you can kind of see it takes up a lot of the screen here which is kind of rough and i don't know it's kind of caught me you know moving back and forth through the army so i could see it but it does take up quite a bit of the screen so i'm not quite sure how i feel about this one uh i don't know guys it's it's good but it's also bulky it takes up probably i don't know 20 percent of the screen but it feels like it takes up a lot of the screen i don't know maybe it takes up 25 percent of the screen it just feels like it takes up a lot more than we're used to, but if you can get used to it, it might be a good thing. But these are some great quality of life changes. Oh, I am so pumped up about it. Guys, let's go check out the Stone Slammer. All right, guys, so I have an empty Stone Slammer in here because I just want to kind of show it off for now. But we got an em empty Stone Slammer so you guys can just kind of get a feel for it. Let's go ahead and throw that bad boy in there and look at this. Oh, there's an E-Drag. Let's freeze that E-Drag. Look, it's just going to target defenses. And it's actually pretty powerful. It's going to do a little bit of splash damage. Look, it just activated the Town Hall. Does it go under Rage? It does not. It's like any other Siege Machine. It does not Rage up or anything like that. Maybe we can poison this E-Drag. But look at this thing. If you can get it to the Town Hall... I mean, it's pretty sturdy. I mean, that did... That, that was actually pretty nice. And look at that. Taking out all those defenses. And uh, the e drag's just a little bit annoying. Get out of here, e dragon. It's strong, man. I like it a lot. I like that it just targets defenses. Really cool stuff. Like if you know, there's something on the outside of the base you want to kind of get. I need to get this e dragon out of my life. Get out of here. But I don't know, guys. I think it's gonna be. Uh, Man, I think it's going to be really unique and really awesome. I was not expecting to get a new Siege Machine. So, so far, we got a brand new spell, the Bat Spell. We got a brand new Siege Machine. We got Warden Quality of Life. Oh, my goodness. I'm so in love with this update. Let's check this out. I'm going to put some troops in there. Let's check in a, a base. Uh, let's attack a base that has a little bit more on it. So, I was kind of trying to think to myself, like, why would you want to use, like, a Slammer over, like, a Blimp or anything like that? And this base might work for it. I'm not sure. It kind of has some stuff I was looking for. Uh, we got... Air sweepers pointing down to the bottom of the base. We got the queen over here. But what I'm really concerned about is up here, I think we might be able to dive that out with our heroes, like most of this trash. And then we can kind of go slammer on the inferno into the eagle and then clone up our balloons out of our clan castle. So that's what we're going to try to do. I'm going to go baby dragons right there. I also got the double road deployment on to try that out. This is my first actual attack using the double road deployment which is actually super, super sketchy for me, but I, I like it. I just, I think it's going to take a little bit of getting used to. I'm going to pop the queen's ability there just to make sure she doesn't get taken out. King doing work. He's doing exactly what he's supposed to. 
getting in there. Oh, Queen's wandering on us a little bit. I think if we don't get that cannon down, it's not the end of the world, though. Queen does get a few buildings over there. Let's see if this will work. Let's go. Let's see if we can go slammer to the cannon to the Tesla and see if that'll work. I'm going to put those minions in there just to clear out some trash. We'll put a more minion right there. Okay, so, so far it's looking good. Look at that. Bam! That slammer does huge splash damage. Can we make it? We need to make it to the eagle is the big thing. Can we make it to the eagle? It's going to be close. I feel like we will. And then we'll rage up. Look at that. Yeah, we made it right there. Now we just got to clear out some of these defenses. Nice. We even set off the tornado trap, which is awesome. I kind of wanted that other sweeper out, but that'll work. We're going to have to fight that sweeper because I want to finish on the queen here. Uh, just because I feel like we don't really have anything to deal with the queen. So we're going to try to finish towards the queen here. All right, let's get all that going. Let's get a haste. Haste just to get our balloons a working. We'll get this last pup going in. Or not pup, but hound rather. Town hall is activated. So that's something we need to be aware of. Let's go ahead and freeze right there. And warden's ability. Perfect. Nice. So the whole point is to finish with the on the queen over here. I need to get to that last sweeper. All right, how we looking? How we looking, guys? Get there, get there. Oh, I know it's rough. I know it's rough balloons, but can we make it? Oh, that hound is still going. Oh, we still got that sweeper up. Give me a break, man. Why is that sweeper not down? All right, hound pops right there. Uh, let's see. We need to get that queen. We need to catch that haste. There we go. Perfect. Go get the queen, guys. Go get the queen. Oh, they almost dunked on the queen. She's so low. Warden is taking her out. I feel like we're going to be close, guys. Do we have enough? We're so close, that queen. Oh, my goodness. I need just a few more. I need, like, a few more minions or something. We're so close here. Minions are working on the king over there. Oh, that one minion steps up. But look at that. We got all those pups. I think that should be enough to take her out. Especially if she steps up here. It should pull them in. Get there, guys. Get th Oh, we got the three-star without taking out the queen. That was nice. So you kind of see that wrecker kind of pads in. And it could even... Man, taking out some of those walls. That was really interesting. Taking out some of those walls might even open up for some hero action hmm maybe we open with the wrecker hold on let's see guys so i'm just kind of like brainstorming of stuff that we could possibly use this for so what i'm kind of thinking here is we can like use our wrecker to open up this stuff and then kind of work into the base so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go let's go with one balloon right there actually we might need a second with that bomb going off i'm gonna take that cannon out all right nice perfect and then let's go baby drag right here and then let's go ahead with our Stone Slammer. I think I might have called it a Wrecker. Definitely Stone Slammer. Let's go with that right there. I'm going to go another Baby Dragon. And we're going to clone these balloons up. Now, let's go ahead and freeze that Inferno just so it makes it a little bit longer. Oh! But that Sweeper, guys. That Sweeper is a little bit of a problem. All right, let's get ready to clone. Clone Rage. Get those balloons. I'm moving through there. I mean, that's working out pretty well. We get towards the AD. Oh, we activated the Town Hall, though. Uh-oh. Didn't want to activate the Town Hall. That wasn't in the plans, guys. That was not in the plans. But the goal is to take out the Town Hall. So let's see if we can make that work. Uh, hmm. What's going to be tough? I, I need, like, this gold mine out. I don't think that's going to work. Nope. All right, let's go like this. And then like this. I need the king to go up. Okay, okay. We're, we're moving. I need the queen on the inferno, which is perfect. We'll hit the king. Okay, hold on. We're making moves here, guys. We're making moves. Just brainstorming a little bit here. Work with me. Now, obviously, there's no clan castle on this, and we don't have a way to deal with the queen again. What's with me and not bringing ways to deal with the queen? It's all right, though. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, I think what we'll do is... Uh, I didn't really think this far ahead. I didn't think that would actually work, guys. Uh, let's go like so. Uh, we'll get our warden going in here in a sec. All right, nice. He's soaking up a lot of damage. We'll keep these balloons I'm moving on through. Oh, no. We're taking a lot of damage here, guys. With the town hall down, though, we activated the, the tornado trap somehow. That's interesting. 
Uh, I think I'm just gonna hit my Warden's ability just to be safe here because he was taking some heavy damage. Let's go ahead and rage these balloons. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is a disaster, guys. But it actually worked kind of the way I wanted it to. Like, we weren't too far off there. Uh, we don't have anything to deal with the Queen. I guess I didn't think that part out. But, look at this. I mean, we got through the base actually pretty well. Huh, that re or that Stone Slammer, I keep wanting to call it a Wrecker. That Stone Slammer has some potential in here. I mean, that was that was just some quick brainstorming. I don't know. What do you guys think? You guys think there's going to be some good uses for the Stone Slammer? I think it's got potential, personally. With it being able to open up walls and open up bases, now, obviously there wasn't Clan Castle troops on either of those, but, you know, this is kind of like my first use of the Stone Slammer, checking it out, kind of playing with it. And remember, you can get these at Town Hall 10 also. These are Town Hall 12 bases. I think with Town Hall 10s, it's going to be absolutely disgusting. Now, last thing I want to do is, uh, just because we did it with the bat spell, let's go check out the Dragon's Lair. Alrighty, guys, so remember, last time we beat the Dragon's Lair using only spells. Can we beat it using only the the Stone Slammer? I don't think so. I, I think that's actually nonsense to even think that. But let's throw it in here. Let's see what kind of damage we can do. I did bring an extra freeze. I changed my spells up just a little bit here. So let's go ahead and freeze all that. Man, that that uh, Seeking Air Mine actually hurt quite a bit. We actually didn't even get that Inferno down. Oh no, I just double tapped clothes. Oh, that's bad. We should still be fine though, I think. Uh, Yeah, I, I think, hopefully, maybe. Let's go. That chicken's a clucking. And by chicken, I mean ego artillery. All right, so that's all good. <laughs> oh, that's absolutely ridiculous, guys. Absolutely ridiculous stuff here. Oh, I didn't even use my hounds. I knew that. I was just kidding. Uh, so let's... Uh, so look, right here, since our air phase was so well, we could actually switch up and put... Uh-oh. We could put the warden on ground now and then kind of do like this. I don't know, guys. We're just kind of winging it here. Let's uh, hit that warden's ability. There's, there's there's stuff all over the place. Let's freeze this guy. Hit the Queen's ability. Hold on. If we beat it before we beat the dragon, do we win? Go, Blue. Oh, man. That dragon slayer actually has a lot of hit points. Go! Take out the dragon, guys. Oh, man. That stone slammer, though. That is fun. I like that quite a bit, guys. I think it's going to have some good potential. Uh, we'll beat dragon slayer, obviously, with a town hall 12 army. That's not too rough to do so nice little three star there on dragon's lair but let me know down in the comment section do you guys think the stone slammer has potential are you gonna try it out are you gonna use it i like it guys i think it's got some good potential especially that level three uh we might play around with it a little bit more down at like tunnel 10 and 11 and stuff like that but man i think it's got some nice potential in here to make some moves and kind of disrupt things a little bit with it only targeting defenses instead of making a beeline towards that town hall. Absolutely disgusting. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed today's sneak peek. Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys have a great day. Keep on Clash Bashing.